Hey, everybody. Now, when we walk around the supermarket, goods manufacturers try to attract our attention with bright labels. But sometimes, it goes too far. And what is printed on the packaging doesn't look like what's inside at all. Today, we have selected a couple of such products, and we will repeat the ideal image shown on the label. The Chef Burger Deluxe from KFC. It looks very beautiful on the KFC website. Let's see what it's like in life. Yep, somewhere you and I were deceived. This burger is not at all similar to the one that was on the site. Let's make it perfect. Let's start with the buns. We measure out 75 milliliters of milk, pour that into a bowl. There was also 100 milliliters of water, half teaspoon of dry yeast. Mix that and give it about five minutes to start working. Now a little flour. Let's put it in the mixer and mix it up. Gradually add flour until the dough becomes dense. Add 20 grams of oil and we're left with an awesome dough. We divide this in half, cut that half into pieces of different sizes. Roll each of those into a ball and onto a baking sheet of balls. We're gonna put a strangely shaped bun. We made two of these. Cover this with cling wrap and leave it to germinate. In a bowl, break an egg, pour in some milk, and mix it up. Let's remove the cling wrap and oil the dough. Sprinkle with white sesame seeds and black ones. That's it. Then we send it into the oven 180 degrees until golden. Our buns are ready. We made two of these so we can choose the best one. As for me, I think this one's more beautiful. We turn our attention to the chicken breasts. We press the filet with our hands so that the entire surface is of the same thickness. We cut off the uneven parts. Done. For the marinade, put ground coriander, red pepper, salt, and ground black pepper into a bowl. Pour in oil and cover all this with water. Mix it up. Next, put in the chicken. Let that marinate for a couple of hours. Let's move on to the burger sauce. Squeeze mustard, ketchup, a half teaspoon of horseradish, and mayonnaise into a bowl. We take a pickle and chop it very, very finely. Throw that into the bowl too. Cut off the stem of the parsley, squeeze it in your hand, and cut it. And into the bowl. Mix that up. And our sauce is ready. The chicken is marinated, so we take two bowls. One is filled with water. and the other with flour. We shift the chicken into the flour and cover it over all sides. Then immerse it into the water. Back into the flour. And back into the water. And one more time into the flour. Done. The chicken is now breaded. We put the frying pan on the stove, pour a bottle of oil into it, Warm it up and lower the breaded filet in. The oil doesn't cover completely, so we pour some on top. Done. Now we transfer it onto a paper towel so that the excess fat drains. Now the second piece is also fried. 
and I feel like it turned out even better. Cut the bun into two halves. It turned out to be very soft inside. Cut a tomato first into slices, and then into cubes. We take a leaf of iceberg lettuce, and cut it into strips. Now we just need to open up the cheese slices. Let's put the sauce into a pastry bag and cut off the tip. And now let's assemble our burger. We will do this strictly according to the picture. First, we spread the lettuce beautifully. Top with two pieces of cheese. Pour on the sauce. Then our chicken patty. Cheese slices. Lettuce. Tomato slices. And pour over some sauce again and cover with a bun. Now we spread around the tomato cubes and squeeze out the beautiful droplets of sauce. In my opinion, it turned out really similar to the picture in the ad. And now compare with what they actually sell. Let's cut into the burgers. And try it. Our burger is much tastier because there's more meat and sauce in it and the burger isn't dry. The next product that I chose is this kind of coffee in bags like three in one. They promise such beauty on the packaging. We do everything according to the instructions. Mix it up and done. There was even foam. Of course, it's not as chic as on the packaging because such a beautiful coffee can be made very easily at home. To do this, you need a cappuccino machine. It's inexpensive. We put instant coffee into a cup. Now add sugar, pour in boiling water, and mix. Pour milk into an iron pot. It needs to be warmed up a little bit. And with the help of a cappuccino whisk, That's it, and you pour this foam into the coffee. Mix around the top with a stick so there are some coffee lines, as in the picture. Squeeze out some droplets of chocolate topping. Of course, the droplets aren't perfect, but I mean, I feel like it looks similar, and it tastes better than what's in the bag. The last one for today is this cheesecake. On the packaging, we see a beautiful piece. Let's open it up. I really feel like we were deceived again. Compared to what's on the package, it's just heaven and earth. But it tastes good. So let's try to repeat the image. You need to open up some cookies and pour them into a bowl. Now these need to be broken up by any means so that we get crumbs. We throw a piece of butter into the frying pan, melt it, and pour it onto the cookies. Now mix that up. Pour this into a spring cake pan. We form the walls and bottom with our hands, and the resulting cookie cake is sent to the freezer. Let's move on to the filling. We need a Philadelphia-style cream cheese. We put 800 grams into a bowl, Top with 400 grams of powdered sugar. Put this into the mixer. And turn it on. You should get an even cream like this. Squeeze out 400 grams of sour cream. Mix it up. Mix it up. We take five chicken eggs. and break those into a bowl. Add four tablespoons of cornstarch, and now vanilla sugar, zest a lemon, and into the bowl. Squeeze out the juice of half a lemon. I squeeze it through my hand so that the pulp remains intact. Now mix it up. 
and pour 300 grams of cream with a fat content of 33%. Now our filling is ready. Pour it into the pan. I made filling enough for two cheesecakes, so if you just make one, cut the measurements in half. Put a baking sheet with water in the cheesecake into the oven. For the first half hour, it will be baked at 100 degrees Celsius, then another half hour at 150. Then after five hours in the refrigerator, we get a ready cheesecake. We got a crust on top, just like on a casserole. So this is because it didn't fully understand the oven and turned on the convection by accident. Click off the spring form. Cut off a piece. And cut off this crust from above. With a vegetable peeler, remove the peel from a lemon and spread the already sliced one on the cheesecake. A piece of tangerine. And since it's not mint season, we'll put a piece of rosemary. It turned out really nice. Although it's not one and the same, it kind of looks like the picture. Let's try it. This cheesecake can't even be compared with what they sell in stores. It's much tastier. So creamy and it melts in your mouth. All right, if you like this category, please like this video. And as soon as we get 300,000 likes, we'll shoot a new video from this category. Everything's in your hands. So share this and other videos with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and also check out my Instagram. Follow the link in the description and subscribe. See you, everybody.